Hamlet, a la Schmuck. This little piggy went to Denmark. Well, let's get something straight right off the bat. Hamlet is not an omelet filled with ham. I'll have the Hamlet. Although that sounds delicious, the Hamlet we're talking about is even worse for you. Good morrow. <gasps> in fact, so many people die in Hamlet that Rambo has body count envy. Just wait till Rambo 5. So if practically everyone gets sent to meet their maker, why does this Fortinbra guy, who's only in the play for 2.2 seconds, get to make it out alive? Well, first of all, Fortinbra shows up just after all the madness and bloodshed has wrapped. Pretty convenient, if you ask us. So, was it simply a matter of good timing? Everyone who had a problem with anyone was already pushing up the daisies by the time he came traipsing through the front door. So, maybe good fortune was just shining on the guy. It's good to be the prince. But would Shakespeare have spared the guy just because he arrived on the scene fashionably late? Hey! What did I miss? We know how much Billy Shakes loved bumping his characters off. Surely he had a better reason. Was it because he wanted to comment on the scene of death and destruction left in Hamlet's wake? Horatio was one of the fortunate few who witnessed all the carnage and lived to tell the tale. Yeah, why isn't this video about me? And it was only fitting that he acted as a narrator in the waning moments. But having Fortinbras stroll in gives Horatio someone's ear he can bend. Finally. Otherwise, Horatio would have had to deliver a monologue. And Hamlet had already fulfilled the monologue quota for the day. Now, Hamlet, that's enough. But wait, when has Shakespeare ever shied away from ending with a big old monologue? Was there another reason Fortinbras gets to keep breathing? Perhaps he was a foil for Hamlet. In other words, maybe we're supposed to see the drastically different lives of these two princes and contrast them. By witnessing the military success and lack of emotional turmoil exhibited by this prince, we can imagine where Hamlet might be today if he hadn't been dealt such an unfortunate set of circumstances. Did Fortinbras simply avoid the sweet release of death because of an uncanny sense of timing? Was he nothing more than a literary device so that Horatio had someone to tell a story to? Or was he meant to represent Hamlet, new and improved? Up amongst yourselves. And keep your heads. I'll have the Hamlet. Subscribe to check out more equally fantabulous videos. You should see the subscribe button just below this one. If you're having trouble locating it, we recommend you watch our video, How to Find the Subscribe Button.